morning, afternoon or evening and welcome back to Factorio here on Edenia. So um, last time we added of course to our tree, we've got all sorts of resources now. We've got uh, transport belts, we've got uh, grabby arm inserters, we've got an empty one for possibly uh, different kinds of circuits. We've got uh, these wires, gears. Uh, steel and plastic, copper and iron, we've got everything, basically, uh, what we need to set up some renewable resources. Yes, renewable, because uh, coal is going to run out someday. It's not today, but it's going to run out someday. So we need to actually get some solar panels up and running. Now, I, I remember, but I might misremember that we had a couple of solar panels. Yeah, I'm definitely misremembering that, because... Uh, if I did, it was not on this save file. <laughs> Alright, so we uh, we could, of course, demonstrate a couple. But making these by hand is by far the tedious, most tedious thing I've ever done. Uh, if you do it by hand, it will take 10 seconds just to fabricate if you have all of the requirements. And if you make it raw, it will actually take uh, more than that. Uh, it will actually take... Um, 27 and a half, what did it say? 28.7 seconds, so that's a lot of time. Uh, we'll just put up a singular one. Uh, I mean, we don't really want to use it right now. I just wanted to demonstrate what it does. It will uh, output performance during the daytime. It's it's your basic solar panel, just like we've used in TechIt for ages and ages and ages. Minecraft TechIt has solar panels. These work vaguely the same. Now, we've also got all of this stone. And we're, we're going to need a bit of this stone to make some landfills to actually get some stuff done around here. Now these landfills, they are quick and easy to make, not like solar panels. Let's use these landfills to actually, um, actually fill in a bit of this lake. Uh, we could do it around here, I guess. Yeah. As you can see, it takes a lot of stone just to have a bit of a landfill, so uh, we might make a couple hundred of those. Uh, well, not a couple of hundred, that would be a bit overkill, but we're going to need quite a few. Uh, we also might need some laser turrets every now and again. Uh, do we have laser turrets researched already? Let me take a look in combat. Uh, no, we just have gun turrets. I do believe that we can... Uh, actually go into lasers sometime soon electric furnaces would be really good now that we can mass produce green science packs that might be worth doing there we go lasers let's do lasers first because lasers are cool lasers will get stuff done there we go let's grab a couple of these let's make a couple of landfills let's hope this will be enough for now we just need to put some pumps on a on the slope. So now we're using our green science to further the tech tree and we're not going to be entirely efficient about it. We don't want... Uh, there we go. Uh, just missing a couple of squares. We'll make a couple more. Uh, I don't want to optimize the tech tree. I just want to research everything that's possible just so we can get some uh, something done, you know. Uh, because if you want to, you can speed run this game within two hours. You'll be done. <laughs> it's it's rather easy actually to speed run this game. But we don't want to do that. We uh, we don't want to launch a rocket and get it done. No, we want to build a base. We want to make something nice. So uh, for now, we'll just fill these holes up with a bit of a a bit of a landfill. And we'll get rid of these trees that are in the way. So we can expand upon these one more time if we need to. But eventually, we're going to get rid of these and solely rely on solar power. Yes, you can solely rely on solar power. It's just a bit harder than, uh, than this. Because this is a very high power output versus very low resources used uh, to create this. And yeah, well, we're not going to be able to do that, really. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've got the one solar panel contributing. Yay. 
let's see. So we're building lasers, which is cool, of course, but we also want to mass produce solar panels. Now, this has nothing to do with the tree, but we're going to put it down here anyway. We're going to put them down here, and we're going to say this is going to be solar panel factory. Now, of course, the solar panels need to go somewhere, so we do need to transport them somewhere. And I think we might want to do that with either trains, because I think we can all already make trains. Oh, no, not yet, but it's in the tech tree to make trains. Uh, we could either use trains and diesel locomotives to pick up uh, transportable items, but that would get in the way of the uh, actual uh, expandability of this. And so if we ever need more red potions, we couldn't expand because there's a, a locomotive in the way. What we want to do instead is probably make it ready for the time that we get drones. Now, drones are something else entirely. Drones are very nice to have, but also very hard to uh, to realize. Uh, let's see what... Uh, yes, yeah, someone suggested that we could uh, get rid of this. Uh, no, we, we can't get rid of this. Uh, it was somewhere else. And I think it was Super Mirza that uh, suggested it. I just can't for the life of me find... Oh, this was it. Uh, he said that you can, of course, rotate items. Uh, but it doesn't... Sadly, it doesn't work that way. It's a bit of a shame. Now, we... Uh, sadly, we need the tunnel over here because we can't rotate a single... Uh, a, a single belt to be in the right way. You can when it's on its own. But you can't when it's... Uh, connected to something else. So that's a bit of a downer. Uh, this is the best we can do, I think. I'm afraid. Uh, so we'll just do that. Right? We still got uh, pieces coming in. I hope. Did we ruin it? Did we just ruin it? Now, I think this is just ruined because there's nothing being sorted. <laughs> No, I did ruin something. <laughs> uh, we'll take a look at it later. Uh, let's see. Electric engines. That could be good. Batteries. Oh. Yeah, we could do batteries and blue science packs. It is a prerequisite into the next tier. I think electric furnaces will help our cause even more so. Uh, so why is this not working? Of course, because this needs to be... Uh, this needs to be... What does this need to be? That's a good question, isn't it? Where does it come from? It comes from that place. And it needs to go on a singular belt. Oh, yeah. So, how will this work then? Because... How did this work in the... Uh, how did this actually work one time? Oh, God. Um, I'm going to have to watch back an episode, I guess. <laughs> I can't figure out, figure out for the life of me how this used to work. Hmm. It's actually rather easy. I just had to make the tunnel go from here to here. That's all. I just totally forgot how I did it. But now it's working again. It's, it's back in working order and things are being used and it's fine. Totally fine. We are still doing well in terms of uh, green potions. We don't have all of our uh, factories working at once. Same goes for the actual um, uh, the actual belts. Nothing is really getting used to its max. So that's good. That's good. And if there is a bottleneck, we can expand upon it easily. That's the nice thing. Alright, so let's take a look at... Crafting a couple of these, just a couple, nothing too fancy, and we'll need three items to come in, in order to make these solar panels. We need steel plates, electronic circuits, and copper. Now we can't have these on the same belt, of course, because it's multiple items. So we'll need a belt, another belt, grabbers, and then the factory. There we go. So we'll build about eight of these, just like we do with most of our items. We'll build some small electric poles, just to... 
make it work. And we'll have a... We'll have a coupling. Uh, a coupling. Um, small electric pole over here. So these are coupled. Great. We'll have two belts coming down. Uh, this might not be the best place for one. Uh, we could put it here, I guess. Yeah, we could. Great stuff. Alright, um, now that this is done, we need to make sure that we've got some belts coming down. So we need items flowing in here. And we need more items flowing in here as well. And we need an exit for these as well. So this time around, I'm going to go with the southward exit. Because these are items that we just want to pick up from a crate. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to have some of these. Let's put them all on the edges. There we go. And we'll have a grabber over here as well. Picking up items. And we'll have a long inserter doing the right opposite track. There we go. Why did you not connect? There you go. So we need to extend these belts just a bit. Not this one, that one. Uh, this has no power. There we go. Another. Uh, all right, let's go with concrete. Concrete could be nice. But, you know, electric distribution substations. Now we need blue potions for that. We don't have blue potions just yet. So we're just going to go with explosives first. We're going to do the entire tier, because why not, right? Uh, can we do the bigger electric poles? Yes, we can do medium electric poles, and we'll just have one of these over here. Just to brighten this, uh, just to make sure that this area is a bit bigger. And I guess we could do the same for this one, right? We could just make a medium electric pole, and have it connect to here. Still doesn't work with these. Alright, so that one probably needs to be a big one as well. Uh, or, sorry, a medium one. I keep saying big one because it is big compared to what we have now. That has fixed everything. Right, so we can use the small e electric poles for these bits. We could just have the large ones if we need to cross anything. So that's good. Now we need some more of this nice little pavement. And do it like this. Alright, and we'll have a, a bit of a clearing, because we don't want to look at these trees all the time. And we'll just put down a steel chest. We've got steel chest, there we go. Plonk. And these will actually make solar panels. So, what was it again? Uh, we could... Uh, oh, uh, electric engines, there we go. We could shift left click or shift right click. I keep forgetting. Yeah, it's shift right click first. <laughs> Great. Shift right click, left click. There we go. Now, if you shift left click on one of these poles, it will actually get rid of the wires, so don't do that. Alright, so we're making solar panels over here. So, what did we need? We needed copper plates, electronic circuits and steel plates. Easier said than done, but we can do it because we have an infrastructure set up for just these, uh, just these kinds of, um, well, I wanted to say problems, but for us, they're not really problems, right? They're just opportunities. So let's do it like this. We'll have some tunnels running along. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing that we should actually... do it like this because because it's easier right we need we need the space we can get so these will be distributed on one side of this belt now if we need something on the other side of this belt we can put it on this side so that's easy so what do we need for instance we need steel so we can have steel on the other side of the plate so, let's split off the steel. Split it off right here. We'll have a, a belt, and we'll have a tunnel. No, that would be a bit 
Oh, that would be a bit, a bit strange, really. Yeah. So let's let's do it like this. We've got a bit of space. No, we don't. We don't really have any space to put it on that side of the belt. So you know, we might just want to put steel on one end of this side. So what if we did this? We would split off the steel to make it go... Oh, batteries. Let's research batteries. To make it go like this, we'll pick, a, pick up a, a bunch as we go. And we could do something like... No, we can't really. I'm wondering if... If there is a possibility of putting down putting down potions on a tunnel belt. And I think I just found out the answer is yes. So that's good. That means we get a little bit of extra space. So I think I think this will work fine. Yes. Great stuff. All right. We've got the space, and if we don't ever have the space, we can just move this along two or three blocks, no problem. So we've got steel coming in, we've got circuits coming in. Now the only thing we need is copper plates, which is going to be E Z. Now we just need the room for us to do it, which is not so easy. There we go. We're, uh, we're going to need to have a bend. And this is going to be a tricky part. You know what? We'll split it off a bit later. And we'll have it come down this way. Yeah, I think this will be nice. Alright, so let's do it like this. We need some more tunnels. Two, actually. Alright. And now we actually need one more tunnel. <laughs> there we go. Tunnels galore. And there we go. So that has fixed our problems. And now we are outputting, outputting solar panels without having to do anything about it. So that's nice. All right, that's it. A solar panel factory. And now that we're researching batteries, we need to do a lot more with the batteries very soon. But I'll show you when we get there. For now, this will do nice. This will do fine. We're getting a lot of copper in. Uh, copper is actually being used ridiculously. So I'm hoping that our copper production facility will keep up. If not, we might want to... Actually, Oh, yeah, we're keeping up. We're keeping up nicely. Yeah, that's it's looking good. All right, so if this ever is uh, is going to be a problem, we'll just uh, we'll just deal with it. So this one arm will quite happily keep up with the uh, supply of actual solar panels. Like the belt's going to be empty before it's done working. There you go. Now it is done. Oh, there we go. Batteries have been researched. Laser turrets. Now, that's going to be nice. These laser turrets, we're going to have to deploy them uh, along certain um, certain parts of our uh, conveyor belt. Because, of course, we are in danger of being attacked. Because we are currently uh, attracting the attention with this pollution of a lot more aliens than we can probably see on the map. So, uh, yeah, whenever we can, we should put up some laser turrets. Perhaps it would be nice to actually have a production line for laser turrets. But for now, we'll just uh, set some up manually. It, it can't be that we need so much. And, and they don't take a lot of power to be idle, actually. They take a lot of power to actually work. But that's not going to happen very often that we need to actually have them to work. Uh, we are uh, lacking in production uh, concerning the uh, the actual um, 
what's it called the electronic circuits so we probably want to up our electronic circuit production which takes uh, incidentally takes a lot of these copper wires which we are not producing a lot of so we need to up the copper basically uh, we need a lot of copper for a lot of wires for a lot of circuits now the copper uh, is getting spread rather thin already so we might want to think about uh, utilizing the copper up here to actually here we are here's a lot of copper uh, we might want to actually utilize this copper to do a bit of offshore production bring this into the main line so that the uh, copper at the beginning of the line isn't used so much so let's see there's a lot of copper up here and we might just want to set up some fast transport belts because why not right we, uh, we need to make sure that we actually start producing a whole lot of this stuff. And we're going to need more than you can ever imagine. So, we're probably going to... Yeah. You know what? I'm going to stop saying probably. I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to build some laser turrets as soon as the time is right. And we're going to set up some mines down here. We're going to redirect these mines to some electrical furnaces. Because we can make them. We don't need to ship coal up here. We'll just keep the old systems in place because steel furnaces work at the same time uh, at the same speed as electric furnaces But the steel ones use coal and we already have a coal set up. So uh, The electric ones do take a bit more time to smelt anything So there is a downside But then again you know, they also take up a bit more room, by the way. They are 3x3 three three instead of 2x2. Two two. So they're just about the same size as a uh, as an actual uh, mining drill. So, yeah, we're going to go into this territory now. We're going to go into the medium electric pole and big electric pole territory. Substations are going to be a big part of builds later on. And we're going to use fast inserters and long-handed inserters. And we're going to use these fast transport belts more often so there's quite a bit of iron over here and we need to build some gatherers uh, so we need iron plates we have a lot of iron plates coming down the pipe so let's grab some stuff set up a small mining camp and we'll uh, pump it into the main line over here so one of the next things we're going to build is the uh, electric energy accumulator and these are basically like big batteries to store all of the power that our solar panels will so eagerly produce. Um, we're going to be using those in the near future, as I said, so we don't need to keep running on these steam engines. We're nearing capacity already. Uh, so yeah, um, in the meantime, building a lot of these electric furnaces. Now, the ideal way to do these actually would be to have the miners feed into the copper uh, the copper instantly so uh, in the copper furnaces so what happens is an ore gets mined gets processed immediately we just have a belt for copper plates now that is of course going to be a bit of a deal because we need to then make sure that this setup gets moved every once in a while as soon as the copper reserves are done so yeah th this spot for instance is not very rich at all uh, we'll just do we'll just do six six in a row and we'll get the small electric poles set up around the corner of these So if we do something like this, it will actually provide. Yeah, it will actually fit and provide for these. So that's good. Um, we can have them spread out just a bit. There we go. And we'll just be creative with the, uh, with the output. There we go. Now, these, of course, need to be hooked up to the main grid. So let's grab some small electric poles because we don't have any medium. Uh, you can, of course, use these big electric poles, which don't really have any coverage. 
and we need to craft them as well, which is a bit of an art, a pain in the ass. <laughs> but uh, what you could do is you can have big poles. They don't have a great coverage, but they do have great carrying length. But for now, I'm afraid we'll just have to do it something like this in order to cross, and we'll upgrade this later on. There we go. All right, and now we can have the maximum spread. There we go. All the way up to this copper place. And we're already running low on pulls. So yeah, I'm just going to wait for the uh, the big pulls to come in. And we're going to have to wait for the, um, for the actual furnaces to be done first. Because we need more furnaces too. So yeah, let's uh, let's just take these back. These are not going to work. Very sorry. It's nothing personal, but you're just not going to work. Now, do keep in mind that the only reason that we're losing out on resources is because we're constantly researching stuff. And, well, normally that wouldn't be a big of a deal because you would just make new stuff. But ideally, you want to be researching stuff all the time. You want to max out your tech, uh, your tech tree. So, yeah, um, if you're designing a factory to be efficient, just keep in mind that you're going to be researching all the time. So you actually need to, what, double your production of anything you estimate you're going to use. So this, for now, will do nicely, uh, but we need to up the production of the copper. For that, we're going to need, of course, these furnaces. Let's cancel this one furnace just to make a bit of headway. Because we want to get it done, right? So if we have, uh, yeah, we've got these, um, we've got these furnaces over here, so we could potentially do something like this and then this as soon as this is done. Just grab, grab this from the actual entrance of the furnace. There we go. We'll just have a belt and we'll probably upgrade this belt rather soon. Oh, we don't even have enough belts. All right, there we go. A couple of these. Now we need a couple of belts. And you know what? Please let them be fast transport belts. There we go. These fast transport belts, they're such a godsend. Although they're very hard to make. <laughs> All right, so we need a lot of these smaller transport belts to actually make the bigger ones. So, you know, let's uh, let's grab a couple. And let's grab a couple of the uh, inserters as well. Well, not inserters. We've got plenty of inserters. We'll just grab this. There we go. And it seems like we're missing a bit of a stone brick over here. Oh, no. That's just a... Uh, that is apparently just uh, a fidget of my imagination. So, last but not least, I'm going to demonstrate the carrying length of these big um yeah these big poles these are really nice this could possibly cross the uh there we go these can cross all the way that would be nice and now if i'm not mistaken uh this would be starting to work actually this would actually start to generate so yeah there we go we're generating some copper plates now these copper plates of course need to go on two different sides of the tracks so we need to do our usual uh, trick we can't make a uh, we can make a, s uh, a slow splitter we can't make a fast splitter because we don't have enough iron gear wheels geez this is quite the uh, quite the task really to get this to work um, we'll insert the splitter later. We'll uh, we'll just do, just do this. We don't even have enough of these. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We need a lot more gears and a lot more belts. Now we have got a lot of belts on us, but just not gears. All right, gears, please. There we go. Now this is also an upside of this. Um, we also have a lot of science vials on us, which we don't really need. There we go. And some gun turrets, which are going to be replaced very, very soon. Also some ore and a shitload of wood. We need to make storage chests. Um, this is connected, right? Yes, it is. Great. 
Now we can make some more transport belts. There we go. Currently only making two iron gear wheels. We can remedy that just by grabbing a couple of this. A couple of these things. There we go. A couple more of these. We've got an inventory now. We can actually start making some stuff. Now, we do need a splitter. Because we need to actually put this stuff on the same side of the belt. There we go. So it's on this side. So it needs to go to to this side and join up there we go a nice double belt and there we go all the way to here we need this to be quite a uh... oh come on it's not long enough jeez all right more transport belts and we need to make some tunnels as well for which we need some underground belts some regular underground belts and iron plates and iron gear wheels. You know what? Um, we're running uh, low on the uh, on the end of the episode anyway. So I'm just going to cut it there. I'm going to finish this belt. I'm going to join it up. It's not... Oh, inventory's full. Look at that. So we'll make uh, a couple of tunnels. A couple of splitters. And the rest can be belts. Right? Alright, this is no rocket science. We're just going to join this up to here. So that... Uh, all of this inventory will not need to be replenished by the lower stage. It will be replenished by the upper stage. So whatever we're going to do next to this, it will not take from this inventory. We might want to put it down earlier because, well, because we're looking rather thin. <laughs> you know, we're gonna we're gonna cut it short and we're gonna we're gonna do it earlier. We're gonna actually bend over this way. So there you go. Um, we're going to make sure that this uh, inventory gets filled faster, filled better. But for now, we'll, uh, we'll say thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all again next time. Have a great day.